Okay, welcome back to another uh, Photoshop gym here. And uh, we're going to be touching on um, this art design we did uh, featuring uh, Melanie Gillett. And um, we are using uh, Photoshop 2018, CC 2018, which has some amazing... Uh, new features to it now uh, the reason why I'm showing you guys this picture this is uh, one of Melanie's picture that she did um, we have manipulated the angle of her uh, lying on this tree and we have recreated uh, uh, this one here uh, Melanie Gillett uh, sunset vibes we have the Belize flag on the couch here she's um, lying on the couch she has the DYS tattoo on her shoulders and uh, this is uh, the tutorial that we like to show you how we can uh, take um, perspective like this um, coming from the imagination with um, of her here lying on this on, on, on this tree and we've crafted out her um, still here, everything intact except for the trees, of course, having an idea. Now, there are three rules that always applies, guys. Uh, first of all, um, we have to have perspective, which is um, which we have Melanie here lying on the chair. Um, if she was at, at this actual resort, this would be the angle you will see her um, close to the camera and the second one is the brightness and contrast the darkness in her hair matching the darkness in the background and the colors and the matching colors is the third one which she um, has the light of the sunset hitting her and here we have um, the title that's uh, improvision so um, what I did uh, to give it a, a, a finishing touch I'll give you a quick um, a run through of how I, how I get to do this stuff here also um, let me get back here to the training tutorial and uh, yes you are hearing uh, the instrumental version by us hide away from Tommy Chin, one of my favorite reggae tracks that was done in Suda one by the way. We're not gonna get into that right now. Um let's let's go on uh, Melanie's um, original picture, which is this one here. Uh, majority of the time guys, um, if you look on, on, on both picture, I slightly resize her a little bit bigger uh, to to come in perspective. So if I were to cut out uh, Melanie um a lot of work went into this, but um, there's nothing impossible with Photoshop, guys. So, uh, first of all, um, if you want to cut her out, we can do something like, uh, for you uh, advanced Photoshop people, do something like China, we can duplicate. We can duplicate the blue channel and uh, use uh, levels. So darken what is um, already dark and whiten what is already white. We can invert the channel. And uh, we can also get the, the burn tool to, you know, and the dodge tool. So basically, uh, whiten what we want to cut out. In this case, uh, Melanie, right? So this is one way uh, we can do this, but I tell you that this this version here would be very tedious because I'll have to whiten her um, uh, to get the cut out and, and all that stuff. Uh, so I went ahead and did another um, a solution to it. Right? Instead of use channels. I basically got the pen tool and 
I literally caught a wrong uh, Tanya. I'm sorry, uh, Melanie. And um, you might say, well, this is a lot of headache, you know, using the pen tool. Uh, whatever tactic you take, guys, whether it's um, cutting out a subject in Photoshop, it takes time, right? I'm going through this fairly fast for the sake of the tutorial. You know, I'm not, make, I'm not making a perfect cut, but I'm just showing the capability of um, Photoshop CC 2018. The, one of the new features they've added is that Photoshop comes dead on with accurate refined edge, meaning um, whatever spill is left on Melanie after I cut her out, Photoshop will remove it, maintaining the original image right so I'm just uh, I'm gonna do a rough um, cut here going around going around notice that only to a certain part of her is in the photo so for this part I basically placed a um, a little stand here with the little drinks there to cover her feet. And I just improvision, right? So, yes, I'm, I'm, I'm using the pen tool here. And Photoshop is very tedious. It requires time and patience. But if you know what you're doing, uh, your, your cut is going to go on just fine. Just going to go over the words here. She has a lot of extra cloth. Uh, on what she's wearing so I'm not afraid to cut out some now uh, you might never tell the difference until you see a original picture and I'm cutting around just cutting around cutting around here piercing the outlines of her shoulder here coming back here going around here a little bit by here and, and I hit make it a selection now what I'll do here is um, go to the select and mass and this is where I have uh, Melanie and I can either fade out the background and this is what I have cut out so far right so I'm seeing we have some some excess uh, cut out here where we have the picture of it but we're gonna focus on here so what we can do um, we have our brush tool so I'll, what I'll do I'll slightly um, brush away some of it not too much just to even it up a little bit if I go about there about here come around here and then I'm gonna switch to the refine edge tool and I'm gonna paint around the edges and as you can see Photoshop is uh, beginning to level off um, little excess bleeds and leaks if I go around let's bring up back I go around the shoulder here and if I go in, in between the middle here you know, Photoshop is seeking out the edges and it comes with a combination of Using uh, the right tools to get everything cut out. Right? Might see some little artifacts there, but we'll, we'll fix all that stuff. If I come here, uh, go by the edges here, go about there. I can turn on the smart radius and I can uh, increase the pixel size. What it's doing right yeah, about two I can enable the decontaminate colors. I'm sure you, a lot of you guys know about this. I'm gonna switch back to the brush tool and I'm gonna brush away that slight bleed by her feet. Turn on back the smart radius, um, go to one uh, pixel, and I'm gonna shift the edge. 
remove it that will even uh, uh, more hold down some of the um, the rough edges and we can smooth it out a little bit remember we want to keep um, the details of the one over smooth as it's going to be blurred right we don't want that so I'm going to increase the smooth increase a little bit of the contrast new layer with layer mask selected and hit ok and uh, we have a good decent cutout of melanin if i can use the quick selection tool here i can go around and uh, delete the in between areas I also use the brush tool on it. Let me let me get a layer here and fill it with black so we can see uh, what we're doing, right? So I'm gonna get, um, I'm gonna select the layer mask, and I am going to brush away a little excess parts that is left in Melanie's. Um, out here it's a little bit by the edges over here so you can see guys it's a very tedious work to get everything working together right I'm gonna apply layer mask and I'm going to also switch the eraser tool let's come back here a little bit I can command click and I can also once more bring up select and mass and we're gonna smooth in those edges right let's drag the smooth up a bit if we go too much it's gonna get blurred what I'll do I'll zoom in a little bit so I can see the edge line here of her leg. Bring it about right about there. Shift the edge down. Uh, we can do a little bit of the decontaminate color. New layer, layer mask. And here we have Melanie completely cut out clean, guys. So um, we have the black background here. And if I wanted to, I can uh, select uh, maybe my ellipse tool and uh, fill that with maybe a color from Melanie's um, garment. And I can go on filter, blur, Gaussian blur, blur it a bit here, maybe a little here, bring in black layer, and then we have. a little background here I can change the color so um, yeah guys I just wanted to show you that's that step one right we, we need to take our time uh, cutting out these stuff I can still see a little bit of spill happening here um, let me get the brush tool right about here about right and right about here and so that's step one right and you know we can bring the, the bevel like like what we had earlier the bevel light touching melanie and we can soften it so it looks more uh, defined and we can keep it like that or, you know let's change the color a bit again and uh, what I did, let me darken this a little bit. Maybe about here. Maybe about here. Um, I had a PNG of a cheer. 
let's see if I can bring that shear in. I'm gonna drag that in here. Do I need to move my line? And what I'm gonna do is turn around for a bit of the chair. Let's get rid of the white, right? So we're going on um, back going eraser tool. Gonna rasterize. showing you guys roughly uh, the process that is needed uh, uh, to go through this kind of composition right so let's say I have um, uh, my stuff there and I can bring in Melanie and I can put her on the chair now to make her look like she's in the chair we need to do some masking right so what I'll do I'll bring Either put the chair in front of her and mask a weird chair or I'll leave uh, let, let's leave her on top of the chair. Um, so we'll use our, our brush tool and click on the on the mask and I'm gonna set it to hard edge. I'm gonna shrink it down a little bit. That's roughly gonna Here I can if I can say that. Way. If we go by here and chair covering her. I'll move her on the chair slightly. So that's how you can generally start out guys uh, you know um, creating this look and uh, we can even go on the chair and also creating some bevel actions and you know, creating a light there and, you know we can change um the background obviously we can um, we can bring in the background uh, that we have which is this right here get rid of the, the dark colors that I had crop it and also I'm gonna extend the back Here I'm seeing a little bit of bleed from when we were cutting out the chair, so I'll just quickly get rid of that. And here I'm going to move Melanie uh, to about here. Well, you get the idea, guys, right? Um, I can bring in the drink, you know, and you know, obviously I'm going to use that side. Maybe use a palm tree to cover um, the rest of her feet, maybe about here. And we want to match a perspective, right? So let me um, take a look on the background here and drop it slightly, slightly down, let's say, maybe about 
Or let's let's leave it like there and let's let's bring Malani up. Let's bring We want to do, we want to match the horizon, right? So maybe something like there. Originally we had um, it coming down, so we're gonna do that. I hope you guys are learning what I'm trying to show here. Everything has to be perspectively matched. Let's shrink the back. Okay, what I'm seeing here, we need to shrink my. And uh, we can move the stuff. selection tool uh, come up here and, uh, and we can fill it with the same texture of the picture and there we have uh, something uh, roughly close uh, let's go ahead and blur uh, the picture to bring in the colors Melanie a little bit more right and I can go in here and uh, let's, let's go on new saturation maybe I can saturate her skin a little bit more and I can go over here and go to the levels and let's darken her a little bit more to bring out the contrast um, the palm trees is currently looking a little fake something like that and uh, let's move the drink uh, this is where I would put like a table or, 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 or something uh, to cover um, Melanie's feet right I'm gonna darken the tree a little bit here and um, but you guys get the idea how we can create manipulate it around this one like i said it took time right so i did another one today featuring um my good friend jarson uh, who is assisting with us this one is called love and hate and uh, the original picture for him is um, this one right here let me go ahead and preview that i took that picture and made some um, adjustments cut him out and place him everything is perfect perfect here's my desires love and hate uh, so we're here guys to teach you the art how the real mixtape should be done here's the dys logo you know um, stuff like uh, melanie jillet you know we have uh, love and hate this is the level guys we want to push believe so support us on our YouTube page, emails at dysstudio.producer at gmail.com. 